um, just released now today, 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 the new Vetima 4 2022 edition collection, ready to wear, blah, 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 blah. You know the deal, right? Um, again, one of my favorite brands, um, obviously coming from the helm of Demna, um, somebody that I'm obsessed with, somebody that I kind of rate as maybe being the number one guy now at the moment, especially for me and the kind of stuff that I like to wear. I've got many, many of this stuff that he's done, obviously, already for Balenciaga, even though I can't afford it. I try and buy as much as I can of it. And the most, obviously, my introduction to him was obviously Vetemar, which he has left now for it feels like maybe a couple of years, maybe three. And since then, it's been kind of under the stewardship of Gurum, his brother, who also does the kind of more business side of things and whatever collective are designing behind the scenes, kind of like in a Margiela kind of way. He's maybe the figurehead that speaks to the press, but there's people behind it kind of designing it. And it has felt like in the last couple of seasons, you know, Demler's kind of hand in it has kind of drifted away and the quality has kind of subsided too. I think his last collection that he did might have been 2019, if I'm not mistaken, the one where they kind of walking out of mcdonald's and that i thought was fucking one of the greatest collections they put together as well it kind of reminded me a lot of the first collection they did um in their underground kind of club in 2015 or whatnot had that kind of raw sort of energy behind us loads of security police sort of stuff right um but then since then i feel like the quality of it's obviously dipped especially this past season there's like over 100 looks most of it you could burn in the flipping fire but it looks like they've finally returned back to form with this collection for fall 2022 and i want to quickly just go over some of the stuff that um goran basically said talking about the collection and it really kind of rung true to me in terms of looking at the overall sh clothes and what it basically meet how it's basically and the message they're basically sending out i guess or what it's basically I'm trying to say about society and the way I kind of view myself, how I put myself together and whatnot. So I quickly talk about this. It says here, uh, da, 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 um, quickly, this is a review courtesy of Vogue.com. It says here, um, Gurum Vasilia has clocked in shifts too, though he comes at an idea from his own angle. The new Vetemont collection takes on these generational cultural changes. On a Zoom call from the company's home base in Zurich, he was talking about Bitcoin millionaires and social media millionaires. He said, the early 20th century um, focused on the industrial tycoons who made money with oil, real estate, chocolate bars, he said. This collection is, is pushing to redefine the culture and savoir faire for the new era for the new luxury shopper and i've always thought about that a lot myself like this new this nouveau riche client that we have now at the moment or customer the kind of person that likes like you know pre-destroyed pre-distressed garments the kind of people that spends you know hundreds of thousands or no let's say hundreds of pounds on a pullover hoodie the kind of person that thinks couture is denim jeans the kind of person who you know, maybe um, uh, values, experiences over possessions, the kind of person that's kind of in front of their phone or their TV or their, sorry, their phone or their computer screen, you know, for many, many hours per day. And the kind of person who, for them, wealth is, you know, is different in terms of the uh, influence and the cachet it gives you in society than it might have been for those guys in previous years. And for whatever reason, clothing has a great way of kind of illustrating that in terms of you look at the people in Silicon Valley, right? You go to a coffee shop or you go into even places like here in, in the UK, in London, in our Silicon Roundabout and Old Street, you pop into any sort of coffee shop, you might be bumping into the guy that's an owner of a flipping, you know, very, you know, uh, popular startup is wearing a couple of sandals and he's getting himself a soup and a little baguette or it might be some intern right you have no idea because everyone basically dresses the same there is no delineation between who are the richest and who are just the normies it doesn't really exist and i think you're seeing that a lot with the stuff that people wear with the stuff that brands are making um from the sneakers to the hoodies to the caps to them to the jeans and i think the one of the greatest again things i think that then did during his time at vetema and obviously what he's doing now at balenciaga is that he always did a really good job of elevating the mundane taking kind of stuff that already exists and basically giving his little spin and twist on it elevating it to the point where people are willing to pay 600 quid for a zip up hoodie that you can purchase a flipping um, memorabilia souvenir shop do you know what I mean and I think that's the height in my opinion of what luxury actually is and what it matters to be because well, most of these hoodies again for the ones I have are made really well they're kind of really well constructed they last long the shapes are amazing and if you like that kind of shape you like that kind of look you're only going to get it from that particular designer so maybe it's worth paying the extra four hundred dollars because you're not going to find that shape anywhere else so i love that whole appeal so let's continue here it says um if you see something cynical in a money print and a print and the logo lost lo sorry lots of card motifs on you on a joke indeed quite a bit of talking 
I'm um, sorry, quite a bit of taking the piss what's going on here. The Vasilius is printed in what looks like the Simpsons font on the inside of a t-shirt. That's a nod to Grumman Brothers. Um, then there's 2022 Balenciaga show. Then there's a the fact that all but one of the 72 looks features a mask. And the mask is not unlike the one worn by Demna at the show and also at the Met Gala where his famous date was similarly accounted. Uh, sorry, accorted. Right, that's what I said, accorted. The truth is in today's world, Dem um, Gorham says, dominated by social media and sometimes toxic environment, you don't need to be Kim Kardashian to need to have some privacy in your life, which is true, which is why everyone I still see still wearing a mask at the moment just wants to be left alone, it feels like. Um, Graham is playing for a set, Graham is playing for the record there. Continues here. Siblings aside, there were some notable developments here. No, let's just look at the actual clothes. Um, the actual clothes are the ones I want to check out. So, you know, it's basically an ode to the Nouveau Riche, a way to kind of illustrate um you know what it means to be rich and to have some level of wealth nowadays especially if you've acquired it in some very unconventional waves whether it's from cryptocurrency nfts you know whatever else that you're doing out there these clothes i think are a great way to kind of illustrate that especially because of how on the face of it ordinary they look but then when you zoom into the details they look amazing like these cinched in blade double-breasted blazer look like they've been you know worked on in a flipping had bit of software and shit they look bad they're 3d molded the cut on those pants and the way they fall on those boots is just sublime i could wear that entire look head to toe so many great looks here sorry about that face masks everywhere of course covering the entirety of the face which i'm not really mad at i've got to be honest i'd be super glad to wear any of those pieces especially the mask again you've got the cinch there the color combination on the styling is really great Again, it, it kind of reminds me of a very, um, it kind of feels like a reset. Like this is the basis that you'll be needing and this is what we're going to be building on going forward now. Um, it feels like there's a lot more, I don't know, a lot more of a theme, a lot more tying into, tie, there's a lot more tying this whole thing together and it just feels a lot better. You know I mean, it kind of reminds me of the, what they were doing before, but it also feels distinctly different to what he's doing at Balenciaga or what, you know, Demna's now doing at Balenciaga. But it just looks so good, man. The boots, the cuts, everything is amazing. Very voluptuous. I don't think there's a single skinny slim pant in this collection too, which is an interesting little um, advancement. But look at how these jeans drop. Look at the tailoring here, like how they bellow out. I wonder what happens at the bottom. I wonder if they kind of have a bit where they sort of splice out from the back so it, it doesn't drag or if it's just a continuation. I like that hoodie too and t-shirt. I wonder if that's all one piece. I, well, I guess it is, right? Essentially, if you're not watching, if you're not like, seeing it visually, what it essentially is on the top, it looks like a pullover grey hoodie that's been turned inside out, but then has a t-shirt, a grey t-shirt on top of it. That's the right way around. So it kind of basically mirrors the, the whatever's meant to look on the outside, on the inside. It's a really well done. It's hard to explain it, but it looks really, really cool. I like it anyway. Um, again, the off the shoulder looks like we're kind of familiar with in terms of the codes of what Demna does are still there. Um, I love everything about it, man. Look at that dip dyed trench with the matching blazer inside again long coats they're always signature and look great the fingerless um, pants and things look at the t-shirt that says the earth is flat didn't you know that like ugh, proper cyberpunk vibes man i'm all i'm all over this i really am man i'm way the fuck out of this entire collection it looks like your ears can hang out okay look because it's got earrings on the face mask it looks like um some face masks i guess come with holes so you can pop your earrings in and still be incognito if you want which is great I guess for ladies with the makeup, it might not be the most practical thing to put on your face and take on and off all the time. But I quite like how they look, actually. And again, the anonymity of it is cool. And I, I like that nowadays, especially with COVID, that it's become somewhat acceptable to just walk around the street with a face mask on. You know I mean, not showing your face, a, a full one, maybe even going to shops with helmets on the shit. And back in the day, if you was walking, if you saw like, a, if you're in a petrol station and you saw someone wearing a helmet, you'd be a bit worried. I mean, you think it's going to be a robbery or something, right? Just some guy filling up his gas tank. Look at this camo look like that. You know, you know, you know, um, Rihanna's going to wear the fuck out of this, right? She's going to look sensational in this or some, or some um, baddie somewhere. I like this hoodie, this 5G hoodie, right? And I'm not too sure if this is an ode to 5G, the network. So yeah, right? Or if it's an actual 5G in terms of the coronavirus um, protocol thing that they have in Berlin, right? Because they have 2G and 2G+. I wonder if that's a, in the way, a thing, like how far are we are going to go? But look at these combat pants. Look at how they bellow out. Look at the shape of them. They just look fucking perfect. And this hoodie too, for the looks of it, it looks padded, right? They they, they, they somehow way, figured out a way to make like a padded down jacket hoodie thing. And I want it. It looks absolutely amazing. Okay, 5G is the signals they got the brand. 
but look how great these bellowed pants look man it's just like a, the whole look is sucking stupendous head to toe man this is definitely a great return to form and i can't wait to see all these stuff in the stores what it's going to end up retailing for and shit like, it just looks so 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 good i want to show a couple more t-shirts and then i'll end the show please wait with me again classic them the look there with the holes in the jeans it reminds me of the classic look he was wearing up for news for a few times with those big new rock boots and shit and jeans this looks so so good that's what actually remind me of actually the shoes that he's made the copies of like he's kind of iterations of new rocks but let's continue here great styling on a mask as per usual all in ones you know they're famous for those those are going def that's definitely going to be a look we'll see on the red carpet somewhere along the line we know that for sure I love that how sometimes, most of the time, it feels like when it comes to a bit of materials, it always looks like one thing on the picture, but then when you actually touch it in real life, it's always different. Some things that looks like their fur end up being this shriveled, cut up, recyclable paper sub sort of looking things. Whatever this looks like, which kind of looks like a crushed velvety type vibe or something along those kinds or something silk. When you actually touch it in real life, it's completely different. I love that whole thing, man. I love it. That's one of my favorite things when you see the stuff in real life and you actually feel it and it's completely different to what you actually expect it to feel like judged on the pictures that you saw and then let me see one more i think there was one more i liked with the t-shirt the j denim jackets look great as per usual of course another one t-shirt money can't buy me happy but better minds can again some great tongue-in-cheek kind of jokes lols to keep you going and of course one of my favorite ones i got lucky hoodie wise right continue on come on this is the one yeah that's the one yeah that's a good look to end it on right i did nothing i just got lucky right in terms of buying cryptocurrency and holding um or whatever it may be but look how great they look man these jeans with these free stripes on the side holes and jeans and jeans inside Ugh, they just look fantastic what a great look i'd wear the fuck out of their head to toe like easy but yeah Better my fall winter 2022 collection will be out there soon, and it will be out there.